The Cami Car Competition uh, started, I think, 13 years ago. This is a uh, competition where uh, we have regional competitions for students uh, before they actually get here. And um, the idea is that they have to build a car that runs based on some kind of chemical reaction. Uh, they are not told how far the car has to go because it has to start and it has to stop. And they're also not told the weight of the car. Both of these measurements are given to them one hour before the competition. So they have one hour to do the calculations. The car has to start and it has to stop within a certain distance. And the car that comes closest to stopping precisely where we want it to stop wins. We work very hard on teaching the students safety. We have uh, safety sessions yesterday that all the students could participate in. Uh, we are very, very careful with that. Um, every single uh, school team has to go through a safety training uh, program. During the week, it's, it's primarily uh, professionals and R&D, but the weekend is for the students, and the hands-on part is the best part. It really gives the students this wonderful feeling of, of taking what they've learned as undergraduates and putting it to practical use. I mean, they've competed at the regional area. So now this is the culmination, the winners meeting the winners, there's that excitement, and it's football game sort of thing, basketball game, with not so much rivalries because you're sort of competing against an absolute. Stanford University and their slumbers and what uh, chemical engineering is really what is used to make the chemical reactions in a practical setting. So they are taking basically basic chemistry and they're applying it. And engineering is the application of chemistry to make a product. In this case, they're making a product which is a vehicle that moves on strictly chemical reaction. So chemical engineering is the basis for this whole competition. But the other thing is that people are pulling together things from around their experience. It's chemical reactors, but it's, it's what the world thinks of as engineering things. It's chemical engineers generally make stuff. That's an important part of, part of manufacturing. Well, this sort of merges it in a very tangible way that people can have a hands-on feel. Chemical engineering, if you look at any of the engineering disciplines, they're all about tackling issues that society needs fixed, or created, or enhanced. They've learned a lot of the technical skills. They have to put them together in different ways, but that's what their work will be like, putting together fundamentals that they have in different ways. Right now we have 30 U.S. teams and two international teams in this particular competition. We hope in a couple of years we're going to have many more international teams. I think chemical engineering is, first of all, really interesting, and secondly, uh, we have such a wide range of, of knowledge that we can work in any type of industry and any type of, 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 of technology. And now for our winners, University of Puerto Rico. We're very excited for winning most of, of, of the awards in the competition. We've worked, we've worked really hard for this and, and we feel very happy for it. Our car is a, a, a pneumatic powered car. It has a Lego engine, so we use a decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. Uh, we create uh, oxygen and water and we use that oxygen to move the engine. And our car stops using uh, a thermal uh, uh, controller when our temperature uh, reaches a certain temperature, uh, our solenoid valve is closed thanks to a controller. The, the thing is, people are just so excited, it's just contagious, and you see it affecting the whole student conference. People are just excited about coming, so they can come see the Kimi Car competition. It's fun. Uno, dos, y tres.